major $2 million project in a recreation area southeast of the Star City saw water levels in Wagon Train Lake fall and chemical treatment that killed all the fish in the lake. Now that project is wrapped up, a new group of fish are swimming in the lake and Wagon Train is open to you this summer. 1011 House John Grinvalds went down to that state recreation earlier today. He has more. As you might be able to see behind me here at Wagon Train Lake, the water levels are a bit down and that's not because of the drought. This reservoir southeast of Lincoln was drained for a state project. This sign stands guard over a beach without water, speaking to swimmers who haven't been here for around a year. The aftermath of a year long project to drain water from the lake and pull sediment from the bottom. We had accumulated almost 110,000 yards of sediment and um, to put that in perspective, that would be a football field uh, piled up about 70 feet. It was about 23 years of buildup. These reservoirs will eventually completely fill in with sediment. And that sediment makes it harder for the lake to serve its primary function. To mitigate flooding in the Lincoln area, the sediment means there is less room for flood water to funnel into the lake. But the project has made it harder for the lake's second purpose, a hub of recreation. Water flowing through the outlet structure meant the lake is down about 12 to 15 feet across its 315 acres. If you look on that riprap, you can kind of see where the uh, where the water hits, where the riprap kind of changes color right there. Sure. So yeah, we, we have a ways to come up yet. Now, the park is fully back open for recreational use, but the boat ramp isn't functional yet, and it could take years before the fish are back to their previous numbers. As for the water level, Jackson says they're waiting for rain. We do have the outlet structure closed now so we can capture any rain, but you know, we have not seen seen much rain this spring yet. Just like most people across the state, folks with Nebraska Parks and Recreation are hoping for more rain soon so they can get water levels here back to normal. Reporting in Lancaster County, John Grinvalds, 1011 Now.